In a world where skipping ads has become sort of an art form, the Super Bowl remains a rare exception. With its colossal live TV audience and the absence of ad skipping options, it's a marketing haven for advertisers. According to Forbes, a quarter of the Super Bowl audience believes the ads steal the spotlight, making them a vital aspect of the event. But what makes these ads irresistible? It's more than just marketing, it's a culture phenomenon. Super Bowl ads have evolved into a shared experience uniting sports enthusiasts and non-fans alike on a common ground. Viewers now anticipate ads to be not just informative, but entertaining and funny, elevating them above any regular ad. I like how there's like more celebrities and they're just like more interesting. In 2011, the cost of a 30 second ad was $2.9 million. Fast forward to 2024 and it's $7 million. However, the number of viewers has fluctuated, creating a struggle for advertisers. In 2011, there were 110 million viewers and in 2022, there were 101 million viewers. Despite the steep costs and varying viewership, why would companies like Timu spend $42 million on a commercial? Is it really that worth it? As an advertiser, to be the subject of the consumer interest and not just, you know, sort of benefiting by being adjacent to the subject of the consumer interest is a really big deal. Influencers play a significant role too. Consumers trust messages from those who endorse products. The Super Bowl, therefore, isn't just about football. It's a platform for creativity, innovation, and cultural significance. For the Mustang Morning News, this is Kyle Farrell and Paige Mollett.